What's up guys, so I already primed my eyes and first off we're going to put on our transition color and I'm taking Dusty Rose from the Anastasia Artist Palette and I'm taking this brush that is similar to the Sigma E25 but it is from BH Cosmetic and I'm just going to concentrate this on the crease and then after that I'm going to take this really nice dark purple color from the palette called Aubergine and I'm going to take a very small part of it and distribute it all over the crease just to concentrate it on there. I'm actually using using the Anastasia brush that came with the palette and then I'm going to blend it out really nicely as you guys can see and then after that I'm just going to add more color to it and then I'm going to pat on this color called Punch Fusion and I'm going to put this on the outer crease and then the inner corner also just to create this nice halo effect. Then I'm going to transfer the color Punch Fusia to the top crease and blend it out really nicely. And slowly as I'm blending everything out, I'm going to add Aubergine. And I'm just going to add more definition to the crease and just make it a little bit more dramatic. So that's why I'm doing this and I'm just repeating this step, blending it and doing it all over again. And then for the star of the show, of course, it's from Nilin Ear. It's from Nilin Ear. It's from ColourPop, Nilin Ear. And oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous color. I'm going to put this on the base of my eyelid and then I'm going to blend out the crease just to get rid of any harsh lines. I'm taking Aubergine again and just kind of make sure that everything is softened out and not so harsh. And you can't forget the bottom of the eyes, so I'm just mixing Dusty Rose and Aubergine and I'm just going to place this under my eyes and smoke it out. Alright, so I hope you guys don't mind my hair. It's like clipped fast so that everything will be easier when I do my makeup. But I'm going to do a talk tutorial for the rest of my face. I didn't do that for the eyes because I just find it easier to do a voiceover. So I hope you guys don't mind that. I find it easier for me to like do my tutorials when I'm doing a voiceover, especially for my eyes. I can never talk when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So yeah, but I can totally talk when I'm doing my foundation routine. So let's just get started. I already primed my face with the Too Faced RX Primer and also the Benefit Professional to kind of blur my pores up a little bit. As you guys can see, my face is going crazy. I've been trying to take a break from makeup, but I know that I need to film for you guys. So yeah, let's just get started. So for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the new Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I'm going to do a in-depth review of this foundation after this video, so stay tuned for that. I just squeezed out two pumps of it on my hand here and then I'm just going to buff it in with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki, the F80 one, and it looks like this. So since I already dabbed the foundation onto my skin, I'm just going to pat it in like this. And then I'm trying to avoid the under eye area of my face because I'm going to conceal them anyways. And I don't want to bother by just like caking up more in that area, so I'm just going to stay away from that area. And then for my concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. I chose light. I think it is a little bit too light for me, but you know what? It's okay. We're going to do them highlighting because it is the summer and want that glow. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my concealer. It's actually pretty creamy. And then I'm going to use my Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 to blend out this concealer. And then I'm going to powder it off with the banana powder in my Anastasia Contour Palette.
I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Pro. I'm gonna set my whole face with this. This is in the number 130, and I'm just taking this Morphe M509 brush. And usually I don't use this brush as a powder, but today we'll do the job. We'll see how this works out. So I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer first and I'm just going to bronze my face and just slowly contour with this and then I'll go over with the Anastasia Contour Kit. And seriously you guys, I'm almost hitting pan on this. I don't know if you guys can see, but I showed you guys this in my June favorites and it's driving me nuts because I have to go buy a new one. And I don't want to yet because I've been spending so much money at Ulta and I don't want to spend anymore. And then to contour my nose, I'm using this Sonia Kashuk brush, and I think I believe this came in a kit that was limited edition. But you can find so many of these brushes now. I believe Elf has one, and Sonia Kashuk also have one that they sold separately. But this one works really well because it fits like the bridge of my nose. So I'm just going to take Hula, and then I'm just gonna like trace my nose right here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it gives it this really nice like concentration on the nose bridge. And it basically gives you this natural contour look rather than like a really harsh line because this fits right into the nose area so you don't have to worry about like trying to fit in, you know. Then I'm gonna take the stippling brush again and just kind of rub everything out together, blend everything out. So for the highlighter, I'm going to be using Becca's Champagne Pop New Highlighter from Jaclyn Hill. And I'm super excited because, oh my gosh, it's so freaking gorgeous. I love it so much. I love it so much already. I'm like wearing it every day to work. I can't believe like I actually got it when my boyfriend got it for me. So yeah, but I'm just going to take this small angle brush and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the side. Not too much and then I'm just going to tap out the excess of it. And then I'm just going to... Highlight my cheek. Alright, so I blended everything out nicely. I'm not going to do my lashes on camera for you guys because my camera is about to die right now. So I'm just going to line my lips and I'm actually using ColourPop's BFF 2 here. And this is their lip liner and then, okay, so I'm going to get a text me right now. But then after that, I'm going to use ColourPop Lippy Sticks and Parker. So that's just going to give me that nice natural look. As you guys can see, I really, really like it. I just got done putting on some falsies and mascara. If you guys don't want to put that on, you guys don't have to. But the main focus of this tutorial is to bring out the brown eyes. So if you guys have brown eyes like me, this purple makeup tutorial will make your eyes stand out. If you guys have any other eye color, it's still going to look beautiful. So I hope you guys give this video a great thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't yet. And don't forget to, you know, stay tuned because I'm going to have more tutorials and reviews of products coming up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So today's video is going to be my June favorites. And I cannot believe it's July already. Time flew by so fast.